Hello there everyone and welcome back to another Mecha Bricks tutorial. The previous three tutorials did extremely well so today I'm back with yet again another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to take your Mecha Bricks renders to the next level using Blender. So as you can see I already have my minifigure pulled up and once you have your build pulled up or whatever you want to upgrade your renders with you will open up a new tab in Mecha Bricks and go up to the shop section. Then you will click Blender Light and you will want to add this to your cart and then once you have this added to your cart you can download it from there by going to your profile but this should show up automatically I am pretty sure so then if you go to purchases if it doesn't you'll go and click download and then you'll want to extract this zip file you do not want just the zip file but you'll want to have the extracted version if it is not extracted it will not work so that is very important so now that you have this add-on you can click file and then go down to export and then under format you will click right here and change it to a blender add-on then you will go and click export so now going into blender this is what should show up whenever you first open it if you click out of this start tab that was just on here you can see there is a camera a cube and a light source what you will go ahead and do is hold the left click button and drag all the way across it and then click X to delete everything now you will go up to this edit button at the top and go to preferences and then you will go to this add-on section and then you'll go and click this install button and add on mecha bricks light be sure it is the extracted zip file not the zip file otherwise it will not show up and then once you have that in here this should show up import export mecha bricks light and you will click this checkbox so you can make sure it works so now you can go ahead and start importing but first I'm going to show you these little tools on the side over here there's this little section with all the dots and you can actually just move everything around there's this magnifying glass which allows you to zoom into everything there's this hand which allows you to move everything around and then there's the video and then there's the grid option which we will use later but we actually won't use the grid option just the camera. So now going up to file, we can go ahead and import a mechabricks.zmbx file. So here we have Lloyd Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitsu.zmbx that we just downloaded. We will go ahead and click that and then we can click the blue import zmbx button. And just like that, as you can see, we have our minifigure that's pulled up. If we move it around, you can see there are absolutely no prints, but that is completely all right. They will show up later in our render. So next we will click shift A and then we will add a camera. This is starting to look a lot like the Mechabricks tutorial originally, but that's because Blender and Mechabricks are very similar. So now if you go ahead and click the letter N, and then click this camera icon right next to it, you can see the toggle camera to view, and then under this, after we just clicked N, you'll click view, and then lock camera to view. From here, you can actually zoom out of the camera and you can change the view of everything and you can make it the way that you want it to look. So I'll be right back after I've positioned everything. All right, there we go. And now we will go ahead and change our render engine. If we go under this TV icon right here, the render properties, we will change our render engine from EV to Cycles. This is the same render engine that is used for Mechabricks. So we need to use the same one if we want it to render at all. Otherwise it will not work. Next, we will go ahead and click on the search bar right here and search Denoise. This is very important if you want the most high quality renders possible. On Blender so as you can see it says denoising right here and we'll go ahead and click that check mark next to denoiser next to render actually and that will reduce the grain or like the pixelation whenever you zoom in on your render and it'll look much higher quality next up I'm going to want to use an HDRI if you're familiar with my Mechabricks tutorial which you need to watch before watching this video so you can have a better understanding of everything you know that HDRIs are basically a giant 3d screen that's like a background and lighting at the same time so if we click this fourth circle we can go to the viewport shading and change our HDRI from there and just like that as you can see we can actually see the prints like the face the prints on the torso and legs you can see all the prints now which is awesome so if you go to this little arrow at the bottom you can see it says scene lights and scene world if you take off scene world you can actually select different types of HDRIs here's the rainforest one it is very very bright but we are actually going to use a custom HDRI where do you get these custom HDRIs you ask HDR Haven Dot com. This is the website that I use to get all of my HDRIs and the one that I like to use most is called Canary Wharf. All these are completely free and you can download them all the way up to like 12k or 16k even and they're very high quality. Like I said it's basically just a 3D 
light source and background source, but you don't necessarily need the background whatsoever. But this is here, and I love using Canary Wharf. Even Render Minifig on Instagram and YouTube uses this, and I just absolutely love it. It looks like studio quality, and it looks photorealistic whenever you render with this HDRI. So once you go ahead and download that, we will go back into Blender. And like I said, you can use the HDRIs that are automatically in Blender if you would like. So going back to Blender, we will not go to this arrow to find our HDRI, but rather this section right here where we can see the 3D viewport, and we will go down to Shader Editor. And at the top it says Object, and we are going to want to change that to World. If you zoom in right here, this is what you should see. You should see the background and the world output. You will go and click on the background and click X to delete it. We do not need that. Instead, we will click the Add button, and then we will change it to a Texture and then a environment texture. So then right where it says open, you can go ahead and put that downloaded HDRI that you chose. So there we have Canary Wharf, and we can go ahead and drag color to the surface, and now we have our HDRI inputted. So if we go back up here and go to our 3D viewport, it should change. And if you don't like how pixelated your minifigure or build looks whenever it's from far away, you can go to this view section at the end and you can change the clipping just by adding some zeros and it should fix it. So now if we go back up to this arrow, we can go ahead and click off of scene world. So we just have these scene lights and it removes that background, but it is not a PNG image whenever you render it, you're going to have to do something else for that. In order to make sure you have a transparent background for your render, all you need to do is simply search transparent in the search bar. And then once we've done that, we can scroll all the way down to under film and click on transparent. Now you will see there are these cubes or these little squares in the background and that allows it to actually be a PNG background and I would highly suggest not to put a background in on Blender because rendering takes much, much longer on Blender than it does on Megabricks. Megabricks, it takes a minute at most sometimes for minifigures. But on Blender, if you do the background, you have to render the background as well. And it can take 30 to 45 minutes, at least for me, to render the minifigure alone. So it would take over an hour to render the background as well. So make sure you go to Film and click Transparent, just so you can just have the PNG. And then you can add the background in in a photo editor of your choice. And then just to be sure that your HDRI does work, go to this little World tab right here. And it should say the name of the file that you used for your HDRI, even if it shows a different one that is on here at the moment. And I forgot to mention that you can actually change the rotation of the lighting for the HDRIs as well as the strength and the world opacity which we obviously want to set to zero which we just did by not clicking scene world. So now that we've done, I'm pretty sure everything that we need to do, all we have to click is render and then render image. Alright everyone, it looks like the render is officially finished and it looks really amazing. If you zoom in really close, it doesn't look that pixelated. Obviously if you zoom in super close you're going to see the pixels, but man it looks so good, it looks so high quality. I think the uh, power ball that he has looks kind of meh. Um, obviously you can see the building reflection, which I'm not a big fan of with HDRIs that can kind of be a pain in the butt whenever you have um, clear pieces or like reflective pieces in general but other than that I think it looks really good and I'll go ahead and pull up a comparison right now of the two renders that I made the first one on the left being in Mecha Bricks and the one on the right being in Blender I think the one in Blender looks 10 times better it may not be the most noticeable thing ever but I think depending on HDRIs and stuff and like denoising I know both of them are denoised if you don't have Mechabricks already enabled for denoising. It's going to look a lot better in Blender, obviously, but I think this looks a lot better, and do you think it does? Tell me in the comments below. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, and have a great day.